So we start with the membrane. What happens in the membrane is that uh, the, the methods of separation uh, principle is the diffusion of the gas through uh, uh, a polymer that is used as like a filter. And what happens here is that the, based on the different uh, size of the molecules that is with the related to methane and CO2, the membrane is, is able to let the CO2 pass through the, the, the membranes and the methane goes, uh, keeps inside and with that we purify the gas with the membrane. But of course that there is uh, some of the methane will also goes out with the CO2 and because of that we, we have a gas that is poor with methane, but there are some kinds of flammable uh, in this waste stream. And an important uh, thing to consider is that, as I told you, if we have nitrogen as a contaminant, we are not able to remove the nitrogen from the methane uh, use membranes because the size of the, the methane and nitrogen is very, very similar and the suppliers are not able to remove the nitrogen use membrane. So it is a, a point of observation when we are uh, looking for the technology for the purification of the biomethane. And to increase the, the recovery of the methane uh, use membranes is in many cases uh, we need to use uh, to be bundles that are connected in two stages or three stages because the waste from, uh, from a, uh, a membrane will be compressed again to be sent to another one or to, be, to do a recycle of the stream and with that we can increase the capacity or the recovery of the methane in the system. And some advantage of using the membrane is that it doesn't have a moving part. You just need a source of building pressure. And remember that in the land field, we are in the, in the digestor, the, the operating pressure is around the atmosphere. So to, to keep the gas, we need some kind of a, a rotating equipment. And we use a blower in many cases to to keep the, the gas and to build pressure enough to, to surpass all the pressure drop of the system. And talking about the membrane, uh, most often it uh, operates in a range of 7 to 20 bar and because of that we need a blower or uh, in this case we need a compressor. So in this case, uh, disconsidering the, the compressor, we don't have moving parts, you, don't, you just need to have a gas with the enough pressure to go in, in the membrane and to go out from the membrane. The uh, uh, availability depends on the compressor blower because it's our source of, uh, uh, it's our source of uh, capturing the, the biogas and the, it is can, uh, can, be, can have a modular design. It means that if you want to increase the plant capacity, you just need to add more modules to your system and with that you can improve the capacity of your plant. We have some power requirements and every kind of technology has some kind of power requirements. The methane losses can be between 0.5% to 12 percentage in moles and we when we talk about volume we can consider at moles also and the to decrease the methane losses we will need to to improve the the methane uh, design you have more recirculation have different stages of uh, treatment and etc